girls are coming of age in a very poisonous, girl-hurting culture. Reviving Ophelia is my attempt to talk about the developmental issues of girls this age, the culture they live in, the needs they have at this age that are and are not being met by American culture. Teenagers are encouraged to distance from their parents. So the people who love them most, who are the most plugged into them and eager to be helpful to them, oftentimes are sort of cut off from them. What they do is they look to peers and they look to media to give them some ideas about how to be. Girls are seeing, really from the time they're much younger than teenagers, they're seeing over and over the same kinds of images of women that are considered beautiful. Those women tend to be thin, they tend to be very unnatural looking, they tend to often be very sexualized images of women. So that image is internalized and what happens when that image is internalized is virtually all girls and women end up feeling inadequate. They end up feeling, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not thin enough, my skin isn't clear enough, and so on and so on. Another thing they feel about that is that this stuff is very important. I mean, it's not a sort of irrelevant thing. It's very important. Over the last 20 years, models have gotten thinner and thinner and thinner. And so the average height of a model is 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 Their weight's about 110 pounds. They will get no thinner. The height weight of models has leveled out, not for any positive reason, but because if they get any thinner, they can't be healthy enough to show up for photo shoots and work. So they have gotten thinner and thinner. Meanwhile, the weight of real women has increased. And so the disparity between how our culture defines beautiful and, and how real women look has gotten greater. When we define beauty in such an unnatural way, Young girls do very unnatural things to be thin. There's a real correlation by now in this country between young women's desires to be thin and to be beautiful and the fact that so many young women really become victims of eating disorders. They hear a combination of messages that basically are eating disorder producing. They hear it's important to be thin and beautiful and have some chocolates and pizza. And it creates a sort of um, energy that's very bad for girls. Soft core pornography, advertising, and fashion have all sort of blurred together in one set of images. And you know, you look at it advertising anymore, it doesn't look all that much different from the poses and so on of a Playboy magazine. I mean, there's not much boundaries anymore between those different kinds of photography. Women are valued in the media for their sexuality. And particularly, the way this affects young teenagers is they think it's very important to be sexually attractive, or if they aren't sexually attractive, or if they're afraid of being sexual and sexually attractive, they feel badly about themselves because they aren't more sexual. They feel like they're left out of the really important stuff that's happening for teenagers. A lot of times when I speak, mothers will come up to me and they'll say, my son's getting calls from girls offering to have sex with him, wanting him to go out and so on. And they'll go, what could be in these girls' heads? To me, it's totally simple what's in girls' heads. They've been taught that what's valuable about them is their sexuality. So when they go out and interface with the world, that's what they offer people. One little $20 sweater from close time and you're covered for the weekend. Sort of. Both girls and boys really get pushed into sexual relationships much earlier than they're ready. In fact, kids get kind of channeled into behavior that they later regret, realize they weren't old enough to handle, and so on. One of the things that happens to young men is they end up thinking that the most important thing in a date in a woman is attractiveness. They tend to see images of women not being the subjects of their own lives, but the objects of other people's gaze. So they get a kind of a view of women as very beautiful, passive, 
sexually attractive. So it socializes men to think about potential mates, potential partners, not in terms of their sense of humor or character or common interests, but in terms of their breast size and the shape they have and so on and so on. One of the problems we have as a culture right now is we're letting down a whole generation of children in terms of giving them good guidelines as to how to be decent adults. And they will suffer and we will suffer because of our failure to give children good advice on growing up. Cultural change is a million acts of individual courage and kindness. That's the only way our culture has ever changed and it's the only way it will change. And if you believe that, what that means is you're a change agent, I'm a change agent. We can be working every day by the way we relate to the people we come in contact with to make a very different culture person by person, community by community.